axis pants up again and just drag it out so that it, get, it gets the uh, shape of the, um, the screwdriver. Okay, let's go into perspective again. Now we have the body of the screwdriver, but uh, it doesn't really look that good on the uh, handle where you would uh, ha hold it in reality. So we will just select this polygon, this polygon, this polygon, and this polygon as well as their neighbors and scale it down and be sure to see that Y is unchecked just scale it down so now it has more of a uh, that was perhaps too much let's undo that a little bit go into top and select all the polygons and scale that down because it's uh, too large, it's too big. There we go. Now we have the basic shape of the screwdriver and we will have to make the, uh, the uh, rub or what it's called, the uh, metal part. So uh, make a cylinder, rotate it 90 degrees and just uh, Let's see, make it fit the uh, cylinder. Okay, and we do not need many, many uh, uh, rotation segments, just 12. Make it editable, optimize it, and just go into polygon mode and select these polygons right here, these here and drag them out. There we go. Now it's starting to look pretty much as a screwdriver but we need to make the uh, the top of the screwdriver. So go into point mode select these polygons right here and scale it in x-axis uh, a good thing to do now is to un uh, hide the hypermerge object. Just hide it by clicking in the dot here until it gets red and going into right view. Now you can see what's going on better. So just scale it out and scale it down because we want it to be really close to this the the, poly the polygons here those want them to be very close to them so just scale them until they are pretty close okay go into perspective again and uh, now we just have to uh, go in well we have to go into uh, no we don't we have to select this one this one and this one and this one and scale them up so that they are uh, aligned on the uh, background then all we have to do is select the four polygons up here and scale them down as well oops sorry I forgot something have to make a knife cut around here and then we can scale it. Here we go. Now there is, uh, because we forgot, to, I forgot to make a knife cut, the uh, polygons here are not uh, as we want them to be, so make a knife cut and select all these points go in and select the iron just whoops what was that <laughs> oh right we didn't select all of them uncheck only select visible elements select all and uh, no it isn't working it isn't working as it should okay another thing we can do is to 
just undo, undo all the time. Select these polygons down here, only on the bottom, only on the cap, and just drag them up here to the knife cut, and then extrude it. There we go. There you have it, a screwdriver. Um, yeah, that's uh, about everything. I suppose you can uh, give it a material yourself, but uh, I'll just do it for anyone that wants to uh, see how I would do it. So go up to top view, and uh, I'll just take a look at the mat material. It's uh, black, okay. So I'll just give it a black color. The spigler seems uh, fairly large, not too high, pretty big. Has a little bit of uh, reflection, very faint. So let's give it a Fresnel, Fresnel, very slight. There we go. And it seems to have a bit of uh, noise to it. So uh, I'll just give it a noise in the color tab. See which one fits the best. I think that one is good. So the main color should be pretty black, black, and this is uh, the uh, noise is uh, gray. Okay, let's see how that looks. And uh, just give it a light, soft shadows. Just make a sky object for my reflections. Give it a compositing tag so we won't see it. And uh, render. Yeah, that looks uh, pretty good. I'll just uh, add global illumination. I think the noise is too big. Let's see. Okay, so I'll just uh, lower the global scale. I think. Uh, let's see what it says. Render it, and uh, it's a bit too big. I think uh, fifteen should be okay. Yeah, that seems uh, convincing to me. And uh, for the uh, rod here, and for the screwdriver rod, I will give it a uh, metal material. So just just make that real quick. See how that looks. All right, nice. Well, that was uh, the end of this tutorial. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and learned. Hopefully, you learned something new. Uh, have fun, and uh, I'll see you some other time.